All right, you've all had a chance to see inside our homes during this pandemic as we've had to move remote broadcasting or to remote broadcasting, I should say, at times to prevent the spread of COVID-19. And while Sean Stackhouse has been reporting live from his home, something on his wall caught the attention of many of you. So Sean kind of mapped it all out for us. Right, Sean? Sam, good. <laughs> yeah, Sam, that's right. Good morning. Now, actually, during the pandemic, I have received dozens of messages from regular Morning Report viewers asking for information about this old map of Maine that I have behind me. Unfortunately, for a long time, I didn't have anything to tell them. It was handed down to me from a good friend in New Center, Maine's own Hannah Deneen. But as I now know, this unique map of Maine has quite the story to tell. I think Gus's work is in a lot of places, but people don't really know his story. A story I didn't know until I got an email from Kathy Phillips Jewett after she talked to her aunt. She called me and said, do you realize that there's one of your grandfather's maps is on the wall behind the person who's talking? That person, me, and her grandfather, Gus Phillips. He was a jack of all trades from Mount Desert Island, a painter, woodworker, photographer, and cartographer. I've always wanted to kind of unearth all the information I can find about Gus's life and his art. And that's what she's been doing with the help of current cartographer and Philip Stewart's former high school student, Ben Meter. They're uncovering and meticulously cataloging hundreds of Gus's pieces. A treasure hunt sounds a little maybe a little cheap, but it's it's an adventure for sure. Learning more about him, his maps, and his hundreds of postcards dating back to the mid 1900s. To see these beautiful hand rendered maps where it's, it's all just him with a pencil, paper, pen, paint, and paint. They've started a blog too called Postcards from Gus where all of their findings are documented. Ben's father, John, a lifelong photographer, was recruited to join the team too, traveling across the state to recreate some of Gus's iconic postcards. And when I finally found the spot where Gus took the picture, I stood there and just chills went up and down my spine. It was like, this is where he stood. All three forming a unique bond with Gus in Maine's past as more history is uncovered, and Kathy's relationship with her grandfather growing ever stronger. Learning more about his life I'm kind of in awe of how he was able to take so many photographs um, to do what he did. The largest collection of Gus's work can be found at the Penobscot Marine Museum. And shortly, we will post a link to the Postcards from Gus blog on our website and mobile app. Live at home this morning, Sean Stackhouse, New Center, Maine.